This is Matrix Lawyer 212, and I'm reviewing Amazing Spider-Man number 55. This is the last remain story arc, but not the LR issue. Okay, so I just read this. Crazy issue with Kindred, which with the circle of the web, um, with Spider-Man, with Mary Jane, with Norman Osborn, Green Goblin, Wilson Fist, the Kingpin. Crazy stuff. Psychological stuff going back and forth with Harry and with Peter. Um, I guess he wants him to admit that he made a deal with Mephisto, but Peter Parker doesn't remember. But maybe Mary Jane does, not sure. Um, but I guess he, he wanted to get out of him, he doesn't remember. And Mary Jane's like, kill me, because this ends with me. And basically, I mean, just paraphrase, I don't want to like spoil too much of it, but just saying that... Mary Jane wanted Harry to stop. Like, P Peter Parker was helpless against Harry Osborn. He's too powerful. He killed him numerous times and brought him back to life. Killed him in front of Mary Jane, brought him back to life. Um, so, Mary Jane's like, you promised to never hurt me, but maybe you need to kill me and then leave it at that. And then Green Goblin shows up and basically tries to kill Mary Jane. Leaves her lifeless almost, but she's barely hanging on. And then Kindred's all upset. Goes to attack his father because... Mary Jane was his best friend, and then the Kingpin strikes, so, and then Spider-Man, Peter Parker's holding basically Mary Jane, and she's all messed up, and she's like, you're not gonna get rid of me that easily, but she's really, really hurt badly, so, um, I'm not sure where the hell they're going with this storyline, I'm not sure how the Kingpin has powers from hell that could stop Kindred, because Kindred has powers from hell, from Mephisto, I guess, or whatever, or maybe not Mephisto, I don't know, very confusing. It was a good issue. Spider-Gwen spoke out against Kindred. He didn't like that. Um, it was just a really psychological back and forth thing. It was good. Okay. Just not sure what the hell happened at the end. But all right. So it's the first comic book review of the year. Um, I love Amazing Spider-Man. We did see what the costume is going to look like. Not crazy about that. We'll get into detail about that later on. All right, guys. But anyway, I love the interaction between Harry Osborne. They're going back to when they were, you know, in college and high school and kids. Like, you know, and dating and breaking up and dating and all kinds of stuff. You know, and he's blaming Peter Parker for not telling him that his dad was the Green Goblin. He's saying he was selfish because he wanted to save his identity. All these different things going on. A lot of baggage. A lot of, like, old wounds, regrets. Everything coming to the table, and him wanting Peter Parker to admit something he don't even remember. So, really interesting stuff. Really liked it. All right, guys. Take care. Bye for now.